All right, I'm out of breath. I've done 20 takes on this damn thing, and I keep getting bitten up by flies even though I'm walking. I can't stay in one spot. I can't go to any of the areas that I can't go to any of the areas that aren't this foresty area that's near a swamp uh, because there's tons of people at every park and the parks that you're not really supposed to go into anymore that have closed, they have police guarding all of them. So I can't even go to the secretive parks or anything because they find it so important to stop people from camping out. They, they have to find it so important to try to hide the fact that there are so many homeless people. Whatever. Um, so I'm out of breath, so you'll have to put up with it. Um, I'm also carrying this trot heavy tripod in this weird way to get this effect. So I just want to thank all the straight men who have been so supportive of gay people, of gay men, who you're not, where you're not demonizing gay men for their sexuality. Where you're not demonizing gay men for being attracted to other men. I appreciate you so much. And it makes me feel like I owe you something. And it makes me sad that there aren't more gay men that are willing to do what they can to help be supportive of you. Because there are forces that are just saying that for you to be a straight man is somehow bad. For you to be a straight man is to be degrading to women. And basically, you know, as I said in the last video, feminists are to straight men what Christian fundamentalists are to gay men. It is to demonize sexuality. I think the feminist side of it is worse because it doesn't have a bullshit religious reason to do it. It just has some sort of dogma and they base it off of scholarly articles. They base it off of academic papers. It's backed by colleges. You're bad for having attractions to women, is what it's saying. And I, I'm disgusted by it. And I'm disgusted that there aren't more gay people willing to stand up for the straight men out there. It's upsetting. You know, I, I only feel it's right that we all try to stand up for each other. That we all try to stand up for what's right. That we try to make this world a better place as much as we can. That we allow people to be themselves as much as we can. That's not happening very much. And I think that's unfortunate. I hope more gay men can actually start to see how heterosexual men are being demonized. I hope they can see it more. Gay men aren't a threat at all to this whole feminist thing. They're not a target because, well, gay men aren't attracted to women. So, as long as it's men they're attracted to, well, they don't care. Now, you never know, maybe down the line, if feminists get their way in fully demonizing straight men, they might go for gay men next. I kind of doubt it, but, you know. There shouldn't have to be this trade-off. You know, gay men have it better than, than, than we've, we've ever had it here in this country. And it's like it's being traded off with it being shitty for straight men. And that's not right. That's not right at all.